talking a little bit about Spellbreak and the broken mobility that exists in this game. Now, you know, when you look at most of your abilities, for especially things like, for example, like Toxicology, when you throw Toxicology, Toxicology primarily is a ground-based ability. Yes, you can't walk up to somebody and, and hit them, but for the most part, everybody has so much mobility that it really is a little underwhelming to walk up to someone. You hit them, you deal a little bit of damage, Leaves a little bit of a ground puddle, but no one sits in the ground puddle. So it makes that little extra little bit of damage. Plus, it's very small. So if you hit someone from far away, you might deal a tiny bit of damage and maybe you'll get one tick. The person will just basically jump right out of it, countering the, the puddles that you'll leave on the floor the whole time. This is very similar to, for example, when you throw your ability. You throw your Q, toss it out. You might get one or two ticks and the person just immediately runs out of the way so a lot of the damage is basically the damage over time is basically missed out on comparison to burst damage right so if you're utilizing for example like this boulder boulder will deal direct damage and deal a lot more deal that damage up front by comparison to for example toxic no one no one stands in your toxic clouds usually the moment you hit somebody with the toxic cloud they immediately move right out of it you might get one or two ticks at most on anyone who's not brain dead most people are just going to move out of the way and that's basically true also um for example let's go with like uh, let's go with like if you're doing earth right if you're hitting people with earth earth is really easy to dodge because you can just jump over right you as you can see right the animation that hits you, you just jump over it, right? you can just easily jump over it this is even more broken when you're fighting against for example um, someone that's using like spring step or featherweight, right? So we'll use featherweight as an example where let's say if you were utilizing instead of earth, right? Let's say we're going with something like, um, let's say we're going, right? Wrong button. Let's just say right, you're using fe featherweight and now you're allowed to sit here and do this, right? So you have a little bit of, of, of course, of hang time and delay in the air where you're allowed to deal damage and then you just basically kind of wait you wait for your your abilities to kind of cool off do a little jump etc of course this is easier if you're utilizing like um air as your primary so that it basically keeps you in the air right and then you just drop your you drop your abilities all right as soon as you as soon as the person comes near you especially if they're utilizing for example like earth you just move to a higher plane it's very easy to dodge very easy to dodge earth but of course, direct damage, a little bit harder to avoid. As you can see, you can deal pretty good damage from here. Very easy to, to, to land direct damage, right? So you can do much more damage with direct damage than you can with dot damage. One of the things, especially that's, that's for example, like utilizing or talking about, for example, fire. Let's compare, for example, fire and then compare it to toxicology. Where is fire? That's wind. Here we go, right? So toxicology leaves puddles a little bit bigger, right? And it deals damage over time, right? The damage that it deals is six per tick, right? But then you can utilize fire that, of course, deals more damage, right? It deals more damage per tick, All right? So it deals direct damage, but then it also can deal dot damage, right? Because it can leave, as you can see, it leaves fairly decent size puddles of fire. So in essence, it does pretty much the exact same thing, right? So it deals direct damage, but it deals more direct damage, right? As you can see, 16 plus the dot versus, for example, utilizing utilizing fire, which will deal much more damage. Fire deals much more damage than just straight toxicology, right? Right, as you can see, right? And the other thing that's good about it, unlike toxicology, is that when you're far away, the, the damage that you deal is actually rather very minimal. So, but fire deals the exact same amount of damage no matter how far away you are from your opponent, right? It'll always deal the same amount of damage, and leaves a ground leaves a ground effect as well, and deals a dot, right? As you can see, you get you get a chance to deal the uh, the fire the fire ticks, and it has AOE damage. So if you don't do direct damage. At the very least, you can deal, for example, AOE damage, right? And then, of course, of course, the person can walk through and then take ticks of fire damage, right? 
as you can see, you can still take ticks of fire damage. So that's why I typically don't see a lot of people utilizing toxicology as much as before, primarily because toxicology is rather underwhelming. Yes, it has a little bit of a slow that's attached to it, but all you gotta do is just jump right out of it. Most people make the mistake of trying to walk out of it, and of course they don't manage their they don't manage their resources, so they end up getting stuck in it. But it's actually rather easy to to dodge right out of. Fire is very strong. You can just sit there, hit someone. Unlike unlike stone that has that big animation attached to it, fire has a much faster animation, right? And as a result, you end up dealing more damage per second than if you compare that to um, if you compare that to someone utilizing stone, right? So from right about here, as you can see, fire will deal 44 damage if we were to utilize stone. And of course, stone doesn't have the problem of, right, I can hit him with fire from here, but I can't with stone, right? Because stone will not bridge the gap. The other thing is that, unlike stone, if you're in the air, you can't do anything with stone, right? Stone will just hang you in an animation. It's one of the reasons why I typically don't see a lot of people utilizing stone. Most people I see utilizing either like toxicology and frost or lightning and frost. You see a lot of people running lightning, fire. Um, on occasion, you might see someone utilizing earth, but typically most of those individuals are, are secondary, secondary stone players. They're not utilizing stone as their primary ability because stone is rather underwhelming. So one of the things I wish I could see fixed in this game is kind of managing the damage over time abilities versus the direct damage. As you can see, all right, 52, that was, a, that was a crit. 52, it's another crit. 45. So 45 was the base damage. And I think for fire, fire was 34. But then fire also has the ability to be tossed in the air. It also has the ability to place that damage on the ground, which, of course, um, stone does not. I find stone slightly underwhelming. A lot of times I find myself fighting players who utilize fire and they deal so much damage per second by comparison to me utilizing stone. Um, it's one of the things I would like to see fixed. Yes, stone has a, the little passive attached to it that gives you a little bit of shield when you're below 20 shield. That, of course, is very strong in the very beginning of the game, but not so much towards the end, where most players are utilizing either like Flight Rune or they're utilizing the one, the, uh, the speed one. So it allows them to avoid a lot of the damage. Either that or you'll find individuals that are utilizing um, like the dash, the dash rune, which makes it real easy for your, for them to avoid makes it real easy for them to avoid your to avoid your attacks like for example the new rune that they put out right here right shadow step shadow step not only gives you a dash but also makes you invisible so you can basically hit somebody stall in the air just when you think you're about to land a stone the person dashes forward moves out of the way hangs there for a second throws their abilities and then it basically becomes much harder to land a lot of these abilities so one of the things that I would like to see fix the balance between ground-based builds and then a lot of the air builds. Not air, the actual gauntlet, but I mean builds that primarily can stay in the air. Um, makes playing a play makes playing Earth rather underwhelming. Makes playing Earth rather underwhelming. I wish I wish it's something that they that they balance. Forget about the the, the numerous hackers that I've come in contact with. The aim bot. There's, there's some people that have ridiculous tracking in the game even i could be like behind these trees like from, and i'm still getting tracked from like way all the way back here and i'm getting tracked like 100 percent of the time and i'm like you can't even see me through the trees how are you tracking me 100 percent of the time but that is another topic for another video